All right, guys, thanks for tuning in again to Spartan Outdoors TV. Uh, today, we're doing a little recipe, one of my favorites. Uh, it's my take on venison steak Diane with a uh, red wine and onion cream sauce. Let's get into it. All right, so here I've got uh, two pieces of venison backstrap. Uh, you can use really whatever you want. I'm just using backstrap today. Uh, first step we're going to do is just cut it into about one inch medallions. If your butcher has already cut it into chops, that's fine too. That's perfect. You just want to cut, cut it into about one inch pieces. Uh, you want to keep it nice and medium rare in the middle. That's good. Got our medallions cut up, about one inch pieces. Uh, gonna keep the seasoning very simple. Uh, black pepper. Granulated onion. Onion powder. And some kosher salt. Now you can season uh, both sides, but I'm just going to mix these up. Alright, our venison steak Diane is ready to go in the skillet. Okay, we've got a pan heating up here for our steak Diane. Um, got it heating up on medium heat. We're going to use a combination of extra virgin olive oil and uh, just regular vegetable oil. Um, olive oil has got a, hot, a, a low smoke point, so you want to add something like uh, vegetable oil, canola, maybe peanut oil, something with a higher smoke point so it doesn't get too smoky. Two or three tablespoons of vegetable oil and about two tablespoons of olive oil. And we're just going to get a sear on our steak, Diane. Let that come to temperature, and when it starts uh, gently smoking, that's when it's time to put the meat on. Okay, we've got our oil up to temperature. Uh, we're going to throw our medallions in, just get a sear on them. Uh, we're not looking to cook it all the way through. It's going to finish in the sauce. We've got medium-high heat, and we're just going to let them sear. Get a nice coating on the outside. So the inside of the meat's going to get cooked in the steak Diane sauce. Uh, we really just want a nice little sear on the outside. About 60 to 90 seconds per side if you're cutting them in one inch pieces like I am. That's perfect. You see there we got a nice caramel color on the meat. Really important not to let these overcook. Uh, we want the inside rare right now at this point. Okay, once they're seared on both sides, you want to pull them out quick. Like I said, we do not want those cooking well done on the inside. Turn your heat off, put the meat to the side, and then we'll uh, get our vegetables ready. Alright, now we're down to a low heat. I'm just throwing in about half a sweet onion here. Thinly sliced. We just want to saute this down to where they're nice, soft, translucent. It's going to be about 10 minutes. Low heat. Alright, now that our onions have gotten soft, we're going to add some garlic in. Uh, if you like mushrooms, it's a great time to add mushrooms. I do it all the time. I uh, just didn't have any today. We're going to turn it up to a medium. Just let that garlic, you know, quickly release its oils. Alright. 
Okay, and now we're gonna really create the base of our uh, Diane sauce. Uh, Worcestershire sauce, liberal amount, about three or four tablespoons. Dijon mustard, about two tablespoons. And red wine. Here I've got a, a red blend. Uh, you can use Cabernet Sauvignon, you can use Pinot Noir, anything you have on hand really. About a cup of that. And now we're going to stir, stir that in, cook the alcohol off, and uh, cook out that raw mustard flavor. It's going to become nice and silky. All right, we've got a medium heat, we've cooked out the alcohol, and now we're going to add about a cup of heavy whipping cream. Uh, you can use half and half. It's all going to work. And just a dash of uh, Parmesan cheese. You can use Asiago, Romano, whatever you have on hand. Now we're going to turn this down to low, medium, and let it simmer, let it reduce. Okay, cut it. Okay, so it's been about 5-10 minutes. Uh, we've reduced our steak Diane sauce by about half. See, we've got a nice creamy consistency. And now we're going to add the meat back in. Get all those juices, all that flavor, and just want to incorporate the meat into the sauce. Get it covered up in that sauce. Still on a low to medium heat. Alright, as a final touch here, uh, we just added our meat back in. We're going to add about a handful of uh, chopped parsley. It can be kind of rustic, it doesn't have to be finely chopped. Just incorporate that in. Alright, turn off our heat. Uh, we just want to keep the meat in there for about, for about two or three minutes. It'll finish cooking with all that hot sauce in there. And there's our finished steak Diane. You got a nice creamy sauce. Put that over some uh, mashed potatoes, uh, you know, a side of broccoli, some asparagus, and you're good to go. Let's plate it up. Alright, our venison steak Diane is done. You can see that nice silky red wine sauce. Alright guys, there you have it. Quick and easy uh, venison steak Diane. Let's give it a little taste test here. Nice and medium rare on the inside still. Some onions, some of that parsley. Phenomenal. Uh, you got that red wine flavor, there's no alcohol left in it. You get a nice hit of that mustard, and uh, it's just really fresh with the, with the herb. And uh, yeah, it's a great, quick, and easy dish. The entire thing took about 20 minutes. So uh, thanks again. And uh, tune in next time to Spartan Outdoors TV. I uh, got a lot more hunting, cooking, and fishing uh, videos coming your way.